Alright, so now you're back again. Uh, let's continue with the circuits. But is but before I go to the coding, let me explain a little bit what is the I squared C communication. As you can see in the screen now, this is what we call the I squared C communication. And as you can see here, it's basically it is the short for inter IC, which means it's communicating between IC integrated circuit which it is actually a type of bus yeah, uh, which is designed by Philips Semiconductor and what is the differences between the previously that I showed in the USB connection it is basically can use for the multi-slave and multi-master packet switch like it's shown in this uh, figures here uh, which it can have different slave uh, it can uh, it is not only for example if we have the USB just uh, in the previous video it is only one to one communication only but now we have this one to three communication one device uh, can control three different uh, devices different devices different outputs this is uh, the i squared c communication protocols here this is the basic concept for this i squared c module here i i will not go into detail on the i squared c module you can read it in uh, uh, in the books or in the in anywhere that you can find the information uh, about the I squared C module, I squared C, not I to C or not I I C, it's I squared C, uh, and uh, and what we can see here is uh, I squared C is using only two bi bidirectional open collection uh, or open drain lines, uh, which is the serial data lines that I showed the SDA just now, and also the SCL. Uh, the uh, serial clock lines that's why we need these two ports only yeah, uh, for this and which again being used uh, with the voltage of 5 volts that's why you connect the power supply to the 5 volt power supply uh, or 3.3 volt power supply uh, and this is the basic concept for this uh, this I squared C module here so that it, at least you have some idea why we use this I squared C module here. Uh, not the basic, uh, the, not the basic construction that you a lot of uh, data here or a lot of uh, ports here. Uh, we use just the SDA and SCL ports only. Uh, so now that's the theory, that's the concept, so that you know what happens. Uh, but we don't I don't want to bore you with this concept so let's go directly to this coding here but before that before that uh, before we go further on this part here we need to know that the address for this I squared C module need to be known by the device by the Arduino right? so how we can know which uh, our I squared C module address is uh, so basically we have this coding here uh, which you can run it the i squared c scanner code here that you can download it from the link uh, that i will provide in this video here or you can click down below or you can just directly scan the qr code here uh, anywhere that, that you you find this uh, easy for you uh, the codes, uh, the link will be down below for you to download this code here. So I will not uh, let you uh, write this code because it will consume a lot of time, and that's why you can just download, run the code, connect your Arduino with the computer, and directly run the code. So if you already download this code by using the uh, link that I provide to you just now. Uh, you can open the Arduino sketch here. Eh? You can uh, open the programming here, so you can see this uh, coding here. Yeah, uh, I don't want to explain every part of this coding. Uh, or again, because we want to just run this coding here so that it can uh, know what kind of uh, address for our I squared C module. But I will just showing several things here. As you can see here, it includes this wire.h library in this coding. Uh, this wire.h uh, library is basically to access the I squared C module. So wire.h here is uh, is taught the protocol for the I squared C module. 
so we if we uh, basically this library here that can uh, allow our Arduino to communicate with, with its I squared C module because we know the I squared C module the SCL ports and the SDA ports there is actually the analog ports for the Arduino so if we don't use this it will consider that ports as uh, the SD uh, analog ports and that's why we need to add this uh, library here so that it knows that we want to use the i squared c protocol to communicate with our device and then we have this wire.begin uh, uh, so that it start to communicate through the i squared c module and then with the uh, serial print lines it begin you know already to to enable the serial monitor and here is basically a start to scan your device if your device exists yeah, so if your device exists so it will search for the uh, the uh, address for that device uh, the only one that i want to uh, point out here is this line here yeah, which i'm not uh, explain it before or i, ne I never explain anything like this in this in previous video i only show serial.print but actually when you use serial.print you can also tell the uh, you can also tell the format that it needs to print uh, instead of it prints zero for example or print the data for example or print the words for example uh, we can also print it in the format that we want for example at this part here we want to print it into the hexadecimal formats and that's why we tell the serial print to print it into hexadecimal format because this is actually the address for this uh, for this device here yeah? then you need to print it in the hexadecimal format and if there is no uh, there is no uh, device connected or let's say if your connection is wrong uh, you maybe you mistakenly switch between the SCL and SDA data so it will display unknown error address and or uh, no device found so basically we want to check or we want to troubleshoot our i squared c module whether it is okay or not or whether our connection is correct we can also use this and also we if we don't know the address for this uh, lcd yet so we will use this so now let's connect our uh, our arduino with the computer and we can upload this coding here to our computer uh, to our arduino so now if you have already connect your lcd with the arduino let's check let's upload this coding again make sure you check your arduino and then directly upload this coding if nothing uh, problem so done uploading when done uploading let's uh, open this serial monitor as usual so it will go i squared c scanning so again if your connection is correct the i squared c device it will show found at address 0 x 27 0 x 27 so make sure you write this down because uh, if your device is has different address then device then my device here so make sure you use your address eh, your device address don't follow uh, my device address here but let's say if it is all similar then we can uh, directly use this uh, address here but again this is for those who use the i squared c module for those who don't use i squared c module you don't need to follow this technique here these steps here to find this uh, address or if you already know your address your device address also you can skip these steps here this is only for those who don't know your address yet and this is for those who have hardware for those who don't have hardware but wants to use this uh, to simulate this i squared c module here with the produce that i shown in the previous parts so to, to change your i squared c address is basically you change this a1 e0 until a2 pause here as you can see i actually connect it into the 
power supply the 5 volt power supply head yeah which is actually the 5 volt power supply uh, why i use this three ports and connected to the 5 volts power supply because my address again is 0x27 so 0x27 or a0 a1 and a2 must be high or 1 and that's why i connect this to the power supply let's say if you got different uh, different address eh? if you got different address and you still want to simulate the i squared c module with the proteus eh, you can refer to this address has address here for the i squared c address and then change it let's say if your address is 0 x 0 not 0 x 7 so it is 0 a0 is 0 a1 is 0, a1 is 0 and A2 is 0 which means here we need, you need to connect everything to the ground and similarly if you have uh, different values for example 0 as 2 3 here uh, the A0 is 1 A1 is 1 5 volts and A2 is 0 which means that the A0 will connect to the 5 volts A1 connect to the 5 volts and A2 will connect to the ground so this is how you set the address in this produce uh, if you want to do both hardware and software uh, or hardware and simulation so uh, you if you want to check uh, if you have different address than my address and therefore you can use this technique here uh, to set your address for this uh, i squared c module or your device yeah so this is how you done it in the produce now we have complete all the circuitry and we know the address for our module for our i squared c module and as usual let's directly try to make our first coding yeah now you can open this uh, arduino ide here as usual uh, we will directly try to code our program uh, but before that uh, first we need to include the i squared c uh, module or i squared c library to our uh, arduino ide yeah. so how to do this uh, basically we can go to the sketch and then include library and you can add dot zip library uh, so add dot zip library uh, and then you can find the you can download the zip zip file or zip library from the link that i wish sh i share in this video here uh, so you can download that zip file from this link or again uh, you can just uh, scan the qr code or just click the link down below uh, after you have uh after you have downloaded it uh, you don't need to unzip it just uh store it in uh, anywhere that you want to store your library file or this file here which and then when you go to the sketch uh, again sketch include library uh, add dot zip library this is if you don't have the library yet you can follow this and then find your library file that you have download just now so then you can just add this file here the i squared c library master open so it will uh, add into the arduino but since i have already uh, load my library before and it will co uh, come up with this error here so again if you want re to recheck whether your library exists or not or already exists or not so you can also done this again uh, to check and if it's already it is stated that it is already exists then it's fine but for those who ha already have the library you can also use this technique here instead of uh, downloading from the zip file before uh, you can also go to the sketch include library and then go to this manage libraries here yeah. so when you click that manage libraries it will go come up with this list of libraries here basically you can also download from here yeah. uh, 
just search for the liquid display library or liquid uh, liquid crystal uh, liquid crystal liquid crystal yeah so if you just stop there basically it will come up with a lot of liquid crystal this is for those who use just normal connection like i've shown in this uh tinkercad here yeah so you will use this yeah you will use this library here uh, the liquid crystal here but for those who use this i square c uh, don't stop at the liquid crystal only so underscore i square c yeah. so it will come up with all the liquid crystal i square c so there are jm underscore liquid crystal i square c this is not not the one that I, we will i will use so search for the liquid crystal i square c okay this one here yeah this one here uh, so let's say the, the the one that you have download is not up to date version uh, so you can actually uh, select the latest version so let's say it is not up to date it will come out here so you can search for the latest version and click install since i have already have the latest version that's why i can click install so you can update the library first here by selecting the version and click select install for this liquid crystal i square c here yeah, don't update the other libraries you don't need it uh, just update this one here i will see you again in the next video where i will start showing the programming so this video here i will stop here for now don't forget to go to the next video again as usual stay safe stay curious and stay joyful i'm ikhwan may god bless you assalamualaikum